Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this polar bear wall hanging. It is probably my favourite by far, so I'm really excited to just get into it. So for this tutorial, you will want some grey yarn, white yarn, black yarn, your hook, some scissors and a needle. You'll also want some buttons. So to begin, you want to take your white yarn and create a slip knot. And you're then going to want to chain 30. So one, two, Three. And there's our chain of 30. What you want to do now is double crochet into the back loop of the second chain from hook. You're then just going to continue to double crochet along all the way to the end until you have 29 double crochets in total. There we go, and you're going to chain one, turn your work, and repeat this for another three rows, until you have four rows in total of white double crochet. Okay, and there are our four rows of white double crochet. What you're going to do is chain one and turn your work. You're then going to flip the bottom up so that the bottom row and the top row meet, and this is going to create the channel. What you want to do is double crochet through the first stitch of the top row and the first stitch of the bottom row. And you're going to do that all the way along. You're just going to double crochet through those two stitches and then continue that all the way down and you want to make sure that when you reach the end of this row of double crochet that you still have your 29 double crochets in total and that you've not added any stitches anywhere. And this can take a little bit of time so I'm just going to speed it up. And there we go. So what you want to do now is chain one, turn your work and complete five more rows of plain white double crochet. So that's five more rows. I will meet you once you've finished those five rows. And there we go. What you're going to do now is chain one and turn your work and then you want to double crochet into the first nine stitches. Into the 10th stitch you're going to go in, but only pull through the first two loops. You then want to take your grey yarn, and you're going to pull through those last two loops with your grey. And you want to decide which side is your front and which side is your back. So the side to us currently is going to be the back side of my work. So I want to drop that yarn to the front. You then want to go into the next eight stitches for a double crochet. And into the ninth stitch you're going to go in but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the front and take your white again. You don't want to pull too tight otherwise you will cause your work to curl. Pull through those last two loops and go into the remaining 10 stitches for a double crochet. Once you reach the end you want to chain one and turn your work and go into the first eight stitches for a double crochet. Into the ninth stitch you're going to go in but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the back and pick up your grey. Pull through those last two loops with your grey and go into the next 10 stitches for a double crochet. Into the 11th stitch go in but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the back and pick up your white, pull through those last two loops 
and go into the remaining 9 stitches for a double crochet. Once you reach the end, chain 1 and turn your work. Go into the first 6 stitches for a double crochet. Into the 7th stitch, go in but only pull through the first 2 loops. Drop that yarn to the front and pick up your grey. Pull through those last 2 loops with the grey and go into the next 3 stitches for a double crochet. Into the 4th stitch, go in but only pull through the first 2 loops. Drop that yarn to the front and you're now going to attach your black yarn. So you want to pull through those last two loops with your black. Make sure that tail end is to the front and go into the next six stitches for a double crochet. Into the seventh stitch, go in but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the front. Pick up your grey and pull through those last two loops. Then go into the next three stitches for a double crochet. Go into the fourth stitch but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the front and pick up your white. Pull through those last two loops and go into the remaining 7 stitches for a double crochet. You then want to chain 1 and turn your work. You're going to go into the first 6 stitches for a double crochet. And into the 7th stitch you're going to go in but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the back and pick up your grey. Pull through those last two loops with the grey and go into the next two stitches for a double crochet. Into the third stitch you're going to go in but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the back and pick up your black. Pull through those last two loops with your black and go into the next eight stitches for a double crochet. Go into the ninth stitch but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the back and pick up your grey. Pull through those last two loops and go into the next two stitches for a double crochet. Into the third stitch you're going to go in but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the back and pick up your white and go into the remaining seven stitches for a double crochet. And then chain one and turn your work. From here we're going to decrease, so go into the first two stitches for a double crochet decrease stitch. Then go into the next four stitches for a double crochet. Go into the fifth stitch but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the front, pick up your grey and pull through those last two loops with the grey. Go into the next three stitches for a double crochet. Into the fourth stitch you're going to go in but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the front and pick up your black. Pull through the, with the, those last two loops with the black and go into the next six stitches for a double crochet. Go into the seventh stitch but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the front and pick up your grey. 
go through those last two loops with the grey and go into the next three stitches for a double crochet. Go into the fourth stitch but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the front and pick up your white. Pull through those last two loops with your white and go into the next five stitches for a double crochet in your white. Into the last two stitches, do another double crochet decrease stitch. And then chain one and turn your work. Into the first two stitches, do a double crochet decrease stitch. And do a double crochet into the next four stitches. Into the fifth stitch you're going to go in but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the back and pick up your grey. Pull through those last two loops with a grey and go into the next 12 stitches for a double crochet with your grey. Into the 13th stitch you're going to go in but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the back and pick up your white again. Go into the next five stitches for a double crochet. Into those last two stitches do a double crochet decrease stitch. And then chain one and turn your work. You can now cut off your black yarn. Into the first two stitches, do a double crochet decrease stitch. Go into the next five stitches for a double crochet. Into the sixth stitch, go in but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the front and pick up your grey. Pull through those last two loops with a grey and go into the next eight stitches for a double crochet. Go into the ninth stitch but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the front and pick up your white. Go into the next six stitches for a double crochet in your white. Go into the last two stitches for a double crochet decrease stitch. Then chain one and turn your work. Go into the first two stitches for a double crochet decrease stitch. Go into the next five stitches for a double crochet. Into the sixth stitch, go in but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the back and pick up your grey. Pull through those last two loops with the grey. Go into the next six stitches for a double crochet in your grey. Into the seventh stitch, you're going to go in but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the back and pick up your white. Pull through those last two loops with your white and go into the next six stitches for a double crochet. Into the last two stitches do a double crochet decrease stitch. And then chain one and turn your work. You can now cut yourself free of your grey yarn. From here we're going to work down to a point with our white. With a double crochet decrease stitch in the first two stitches and last two stitches of each row. Everything in between that will be a standard double crochet. And this will continue until you reach your point.
So you just want to continue this pattern until you reach the point. Once you reach the point, you just want to chain one, pull up a loop, and cut your yarn. We're now going to make the ears. To begin, you want to take your grey yarn, create a slip knot, and chain four. So one, two, three, and four. You then want to slip stitch into that first chain. You've now created a ring. Chain one and work eight double crochet into the centre of that ring. You then want to chain one and turn your work. We're going to work back into the top of those double crochets. Two double crochet into each stitch. So there's one and two into the same stitch. And then two into the next stitch. And you want to continue that along until you have 16 double crochet along that row in total. Into that last stitch, and that last double crochet, you don't want to pull through the last two loops. Cut your yarn and take your white yarn. Pull through those last two loops with your white yarn. Chain one and turn your work. You're going to work two half double crochets into each stitch along. When you get to the end of the stitches, you're going to work two half double crochets into each end of stitch along the bottom. So two into that end of row, two into the end of the row next to it, two into the centre and continue along. Once you reach the other side, you just want to slip stitch back into the first stitch. Chain one, pull up a loop and cut your yarn. And that is the ear finished. All you're going to do is take some white yarn and stitch these on to the main body. You want to make sure you do not stitch across the channel, otherwise your rod will not go through. I like to take a length of black yarn and from the centre of the nose work down and sew on a small detail for the mouth. Just tie that off at the back. I then like to sew on some eyes. You can also hot glue these on and attach a tassel of the colour of your choice. And you are all done. I really hope that you all liked this tutorial. As I said at the beginning, this is my favourite of the lot. I had so much fun making it and I hope you guys do too. Please do like and subscribe for more. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and stay tuned for the next and last tutorial before Christmas. I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys!